The Braves' tomahawk chop is the movement of the moment here in Atlanta, but it's a gesture that is not so popular in Pittsburgh. There, the chop is likely to get a rather nasty response. Let's go back to Pittsburgh, back to Brenda Wood for the story of Braves bashing. Brenda? Yeah, John, you're absolutely right. They don't think very much of our tomahawk or our chop or our war chant, but who cares? You know, since we've been here in Pittsburgh, we've been telling you stories of how much the Pirates fans lack spirit here. After all, they have a team that's uh, in the playoffs that could go into the World Series, that could win another championship. They don't really seem to care like we do. We've got the same set of circumstances, and we're going gaga in our own city but not here in Pittsburgh, and I'm told that's because it's really no big deal. They're just spoiled. They've had so many championships. It's nothing to them. It's just another game. Well, we've told you all about how the Atlanta Braves have been bashing the Pirates fans. Now we are obligated to tell you the other side of the story. I, I just want to say welcome to the major leagues. You know, you finally made big time. Uh, you're the rookie in time. We're going to beat you like a stepchild. You know what I'm saying? That was about as friendly as the greeting got as we tooled around the University of Pittsburgh campus. Atlanta, get a real baseball team. Our conspicuously displayed Braves cap seemed to have a disturbing effect on the populace, which became eager to vent some steam about the visiting team from Atlanta. The Atlanta Braves, their tomahawk stinks, their baseball team stinks. Went from last place to first place, that's great, but they're going back to last place. Uh, Atlanta stinks, uh, basically. Pitt students aren't limiting their disdain just to the Braves, oh no. This has become a battle between two cities, two regions, two cultures, between the North and the South. We won the war, too. <laughs> the Ku Klux Klan is a Georgia tradition. They're inbreds and uh, unintelligent and racist and so forth. Yeehaw and hee haw, you know what I mean? Not too much to see, not too much to do. It's pretty flat, basically. So you'd like to live in Georgia? No, definitely not, no. The baseball rivalry seems to have spilled over a bit here, beyond mere athletic competition. I hate the airport. The bugs. <laughs> I don't like bugs. I've just seen too many of the same scene of I'll never be hungry again or whatever that was. So you're not into Gone with the Wind? Yeah. Braves bashing seems to be a sport in itself here, but lacking the dignity of baseball. Can you be on the news? In Pittsburgh, Doug Richards, Channel 5 Eyewitness News. Now, you know, last night Doug Richards found himself in a, a small sea, a uh, small lake, I should say, of Braves fans here at the first game of the playoffs, and he said that he felt very comfortable about that. They were having a tough time, though, because the Pirates fans were giving him a tough time. All those who uh, heard that tomahawk chop were just trying to shout him out, drown him out, and I think they effectively did. We're going to come back a little bit later in the broadcast with more from Three River Stadium here on the night of the second game of the playoffs and the National League Championship Series. We throw it back to you, John, Amanda. All I can say is Pirates fans, beware, because the series does move to Atlanta. Right. <laughs> it certainly we'll, does. We'll be ready. Thank you, Brenda.